Hi there, it's Rika Kovasin here with a layout for AB Studio. I'm using the So Much Love collection for this layout. The collection has lovely pink and flowery patterns, but I chose to go with a pale grey background for my photo. So I'm adhering a piece of a patterned paper on top of a more solid color paper. That kind of gives me the starting point for a composition. I'm using just double-sided tape to adhere the piece. Then I add some white heavy gesso around the seam and also a little bit on the horizontal axle. After drying the gesso, I then make a dimensional pattern using a AB Studio stencil and modeling paste. The stencil is ID26. After letting that layer dry also, I then start to add some color on top. I didn't want to use pink, but instead I went with kind of olive colored green kind of the same color of the leaves in the roses I'm then adding abundance of on top. I'm mixing watercolors and then infusions for the coloring. Infusions are these little crystals of color and also walnut crystals so the color depends how much water you add to the product so it's a little bit more grungier, a little bit more vintagey tone than just one color watercolor. Then after drying the colorants on top of the background, I start to make the focal point. For that I cut some pieces of the So Much Love pattern papers and then I start to layer them behind the photo. To adhere the layers together, I'm using just an office stapler because that way the layers look a little bit dimensional and I'm able to tuck in the embellishments in later stage if I so want. To mount the photo on top of the cluster I'm using foam tape and I'm also using foam tape to adhere the cluster. But I did a little bit of a mistake. I had cut these huge floral embellishments I wanted to put underneath the photo but I didn't remember that first time, but luckily I was able to pull the cluster from the layout and adhere the two floral pieces underneath and then add the photo again on top. The big florals act kind of a base for the layers coming on top and those are both cut out elements from a 12 by 12 sheet of So Much Love and also a die cut ephemera pack. I'm using different kinds of adhesives to mount them on my layout. So it's kind of layered, more dimensional look. Some of them I adhere using foam tape, some of them using just regular craft glue. So there's different heights, kind of like a bush of roses. I'm starting with the bigger elements and then continuing with smaller ones, kind of filling in the gaps. I'm speeding things up so you can see how I add the different elements, but it doesn't take that much time. After I then have the flowers attached, it's then time for the finishing touches. First, I'm adding a title to the page. That is actually the name of the collection. I just cut it from one of the 12 by 12 sheets and adhere to my piece. Then there's some splashes and some crystal stickers. First, I add the crystal stickers here and there using a kind of neutral color so the emphasis will be on the flowers and the photo and then to make the flowers a little bit more part of the mixed media background I'm adding pale pink splashes around the whole thing.
here's the finished layout and some detailed shots. I hope you liked this video. Please consider subscribing and hit that bell sign to be notified anytime there is a new video published. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!